We got some more body cam footage. I gave a trigger warning last time. I will do the same because I don't know what kind of content it's gonna be. Sometimes it's like funny body cam footage. Sometimes it's a very serious topic. So trigger warning, there might be some sensitive subjects within this content. A note for this clip, I showed the body cam footage of this last time and I told you guys if you hadn't heard the story of the woman that had a DUI and took the lives of two people and that she was laughing once she got back to the station and found out. That is this footage. Apparently this body cam footage is back at the station. So it is the second part to what we saw in my other video. I mean, you can't even deny being drunk. I school tomorrow, so how do I get my car for tomorrow? Well, your car is total. It's what? Your car is total. Total? Total, wrecked. She thinks she's going to school tomorrow? You don't. So, I don't go to school tomorrow, is what you're telling me? No, ma'am. You want me to be honest with you? You're going to jail, you don't have a bond, you kill two people tonight. I don't think you understand that. You do not have a bond. You are not getting out of jail. Your car is property of East Peoria Police Department because it's a crime scene. It two people tonight. You are clueless with that, clearly. I've already explained this to you. You're going to jail for reckless homicide tonight. You're going to jail for aggravated DUI for two people. That's what's going on. So no, you're not going to school tomorrow. You're not getting your car out of impound. Oh my god. Did you just hear what I just told you? You said I'm not going tomorrow. I'm talking about Tuesday. Did you hear what I said you that said you... You said I'm going to jail tomorrow. Did you, you're going to jail right when we're down here? Yes. Did you understand what I told you that you killed two people tonight? Yes. I'm just wondering when I can go to school. Okay. We're done. That's what you're wondering? Your biggest concern in this whole thing is, uh, school? I mean, clearly, uh, not sober. Bless that police officer because that would be so hard to remain professional. How like frustrated and upset would you be because you're telling someone they took the lives of two people and they don't care. No remorse, smiling, doesn't care. Oh, I don't know if I want to see other parts to this story. Probably gonna get me really freaking mad. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. I've seen this story everywhere. It does involve an infant passing away. So, trigger warning. This this story I know because I'm recognizing the footage is very serious. We discovered a baby in the bathroom. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. Freaking out of me and I didn't know what to do. Lexi, I told you about this. But I just asked you, baby, to tell me the truth. I was not crying in my What did you do? Okay, stop right here. Stop, stop. Number one priority, guys. Number one priority is she just had a baby. It looked like you tried to hide it. We do have to have the police involved. And nothing was crying. It came out with nothing. I know, I know. But the, the baby's going to have to be taken for... There'll be an investigator and everything. I'm really sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Can I'm so sorry. But we need to do this correctly. Like how big is the baby? It's full term. What? Nothing. Nine months? Nothing was crying. Let's see. Oh Have you watched gosh, the news of the, the girls that to their babies and what they go to jail? Nothing was crying. Where did you put the baby at? Tell me the truth. Over the five one seven. Why did you say anything to us? Do you want to get in trouble for this now? You could get in trouble for Mom, this. Mom, Mom, right, just give it time, okay? We're going to speak to detectives whenever she's ready, okay? You ready for the second one? Oh, well, that's nice of the officer. Uh, last three of that second one? This whole story is... It's a disturbing one. 
it's a sad one and it's a long one. I don't know the full details, so I don't wanna like speak too much on it because I could get it wrong, like with the trial and everything. Um, but I know that this 19 year old woman went into the hospital for back pain. When they did a sample, they saw that she was pregnant. She denied being pregnant or having intercourse. Asked to go to the bathroom, went to the bathroom, was in there for a long time. Apparently gave birth to this baby and then hid it in the garbage. And that is all I will say. So what you are seeing was moments after that. I don't know any of the other details I followed after that. So I am interested, but really sad. All around, just a horrible, sad situation. What is oh, this? I get a kick in the hell, oh. Don't do that. Don't do that. You're gonna die, mother. Here's the Ooh. warrant. Right, go ahead and leave it, mother. No, you're under arrest, partner. For what? For residential burglary and felony harassment, mm -hmm. just like you just killed, threatened to kill me. You have airsoft. You have airsoft weapon. No. Nope. Did you hear everything we said about the warrant and that you're under arrest? For what? You are under arrest. For what? For residential burglary. For what? Oh my gosh. For taking the things out of her house over there and for what threatening house? to kill her. Who huh? Okay. For what? So, come on out. Come on out. No, we're not coming out. Oh, boy. I am not coming out. We don't want to have to come in and get well, you. Well, toss Here's it in and you'll get it. There, go toss it in. Go ahead. Right there. Toss it in. One, two, we're three. Not, we're not going away. Chill your poop. <laughs> I love that he counted in yeah, the toss. You mean I got to go to the hospital? Why? I've got to. Say. We don't want to damage your tent. All right, can I get dressed first? Quickly. Sure. Quickly. Sure. Hey, dude. Throw some pants on and come out. You're under Don't arrest. Get I. You're gonna cuff me. Yep. Come on in. Please put your pants on. I'm Let's gonna go. get my axe. Do not oh. get your axe. I'll get my goddamn. Oh god. Pava around. Don't please. Oh, Do not reach for an axe. I will comply. Keep your hands right. where I can see him. I will get my underwear on, please. Can you not? Okay. Well, you've got you got a few seconds here to comply. Uh, because when you. you're threatening us with an axe, I'm not. We're not messing around. I, I think that's fair. I'm very physically ill. Please treat me as that such, please. Well, All when, right? you're, when you're threatening to kill us, that's not a, that doesn't... I did not threaten to kill you. You did. Yeah, you did. You said you're going to... I'm okay. going to kill you, motherfucker. So I said I have quote. an axe. Leave me alone. If you want to leave that there, I will go. Yep, okay. Can I, can I get dressed? Yep, put your pants on. I'm sure. not putting my long underwear on. Leave me alone for a second, please. Can I get dressed? We're not, not going to go. We're standing right here. you got to get dressed right now. Put some pants on, it's pretty simple. You want me to go to the hospital? You want to, me to go to the hospital? Today you're going to the Whatcom County Jail. You're under arrest. I can't be any more clear than that. Let me find something to wear, okay? Can I find something to wear? Don't be reaching around in places I can't see. Just see what I'm doing, right? Yep, just put some pants on. Just put the pants on. I don't think it matters what you wear to the jail. Are you gonna lock me up? Maybe that box right there. You're not gonna keep it on. From you. Are you going to lock me up or take me to the you hospital? You are under arrest, you will be going to jail. You are under arrest right now. So yes, you will be yeah. locked up. This is sad. I'm not saying he's right by any means, obviously. I don't even know the whole situation, but to see that somebody's living like this, that's really sad. I'm just like looking at his home and his belongings. I'm like, like someone is living that way. Whether he's wrong or right, or he made mistakes that led him to this moment, it don't matter. From a human to a human, it just makes me sad. Hi, can I talk to you for a minute? Okay. Just to let you know my body camera's on. I'll come up to the sidewalk so you don't have to. No, oh. um, he seems like pleasant. Body camera's on. Um, so I got a call uh, that a guy in a pink sweatshirt and black and white tie-dye pants was hanging out in front of Mathis and maybe yelling at people or making them feel uncomfortable. Does that sound like something you've been doing recently? No, that has been me. That was today. I just had something stressful with a friend who hasn't communicated with me, so I just took the most straightforward approach. I'm so sorry. I'll go home right now. Okay. Just... All right. Do, do you need any help or anything like that? Can I oh. can I get you somewhere or can I help you out? No, the issue lies with rent money. I don't want to be a burden, but I can't get into contact with this person, so I'm just gonna go back home. Okay. Very sorry with the disturbances. Uh, hey, I, hey, it's it's um, you know, I'm just looking out for you at the same time. Um, and there's nothing I can do for you or anything like that. Fortunately not. But I will get okay. off campus though. All right. I appreciate it. Have, have a have a safe day.
Oh, that was the nicest one we've seen so far. The cop was pleasant. I felt like he genuinely cared and was like willing to help him. And all he did was he had a bad day. He reacted poorly and he's going to leave campus and go home. Gosh, some of these are really sad. But they're also making me feel extremely grateful for my life. I love true crime documentaries. And apparently this is a very big story that I've never heard of. Of this woman, her children went missing. So like they, it became a missing person case. And long story short, she was um, convicted of the crime for her children without going into details. Because I can't say a lot of things on YouTube. Was convicted of this. It's already like the story's already, everybody knows all the details, but then this body cam footage has recently been going viral on TikTok. I haven't watched it, but I've seen it pop up of when she originally got served papers from the police. And everyone is like, watch her body language. Like you can see her breathing change. Cause then she starts realizing like, uh oh, they're on to me. This is all you can serve. You have any questions regarding that? So it is 14.39 hours on January 25th. Just having a casual pool day, reading, hanging out while your children are missing. Hmm, interesting. Can't say I'd be able to relax and read a book during that time. Any, any questions? You have any questions for that? No? Okay. okay. All right, have a nice day. Have a nice day. Oh! Ay, 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 ay. You could see the breathing change. I don't know if you guys pay attention to that. And the only reason I knew that is because I read a caption on TikTok. They said, watch her breathing. When I'm home, then he can come. That's not how okay. this works. Too bad, so sad. Goodbye. Oh. No, that's not how, ma'am. Listen. On June 28th, I used to say that all the time. I was kidding. Too bad, so sad. Officer Casey Barnum of the Greeley Police Department visited the Greeley, Colorado apartment of mother of three, Rose Perez, to follow up on a call that Ms. Perez's 16 year old son, Trey, made to the Weld County Dispatch from the apartment complex's main office. Mm -hmm. In the call, Trey reported that he had missed an Adams County court date that morning because Ms. Perez had allegedly kicked him out and refused to take him to the hearing. Officer mm -hmm. Barnum walked up the stairs to the apartment and knocked on the door. While Officer Barnum informs Ms. Perez that she cannot refuse to allow her child into her home when she is not there, he does not cite any legal authority for this assertion. Under Section oh. 14 well, that's 13 102 of the Colorado Revised Statutes, a minor is considered abandoned when left <gasps> without provision for reasonable and necessary care or supervision. And Section 14 6 101 makes it a Class 5 felony to oh. willfully neglect, fail, or refuse to provide reasonable support and maintenance for children under 18. The what? necessary level of care and supervision will vary depending on the child's age and other relevant circumstances. Section 19-3-604 of the Colorado Revised oh Statutes, God. which details when the legal relationship between a parent and child can be terminated by the state, defines abandonment as a situation where the parent has surrendered physical custody of the child for six months or more without showing firm intention wow. to resume physical custody of the child 
or to make permanent legal arrangements for the care of the child. There is nothing in any of these provisions that requires the care and supervision to occur in the parent's home or grants a child an unconditional right of entry to the parent's home. Oh my God. This is why I can never be a police officer. <laughs> Probably why I should also never be a mother. I had no idea that it was that serious. At first I was like, she is throwing her son under the bus. Like she is like, he got a warrant out for his arrest. He's not allowed here. And I was like, a little taken back. Like, oh damn. She's just not not helping him in any way. And then this turned into a legal thing on the mother. Dude, why you gotta, Dude, be, such why you gotta be such a tyrant? You gotta be such a tyrant. He forgets so body there. cam. Acting rolling. like a child? Yeah, so we're going. <laughs> <laughs> Acting like a child. Did you get permission when you post that video of these people? Don't eat it. They're in public. They yeah, they're in public. Don't eat it. See, you're learning something here today, man. Come on. This is not gonna end with you, you know. Sass. Okay, we'll see. We no, will see. I'm telling you. We will see. I'm not scared of you. I know you're not supposed to be scared. I don't care. I'm okay, great. Scared. Great. Because the mere, listen, I'm going to, listen, before you guys even arrest me, the thing that's going to happen is you have to tell me to leave, right? No, no, no. So, no, no, no. We, no, no. This is, we're in charge here, okay? Yeah, you're going to so tell me to leave. And then you're what, gonna have to what give you're going to do. If you don't give us an ID, you're not going to happen. Go, then you're going to have to go not down. Not going to happen. I'm not breaking any laws. Yes, you, you're breaking their law. And they need to find <laughs> out who you are. They're so going to love, back. they're going to love that you said that. trespassing. To get my ID, you need reasonable, articulable suspicion that I've committed a, that I've committed a crime. You have. I've co what crime have I committed? If you're not going <laughs> to give me your ID, you're interfering with the duties of a police officer. Eventually, a supervisor arrives on scene. Hey, Sergeant, how you doing? Good. Nice to meet you, sir. Hey, so, just can I just say Sergeant Dickinson? Yes. All right. Thank you, sir. Okay. So they would like you to leave. Okay, Sergeant. If I so, so to speak. okay. Well, how about you mind your what? business? Are you gonna leave? Hold on. Are you gonna leave? Yes or no? Uh, am I? If well, if I don't leave, will I be arrested? Yes, you're trespassing. I'm okay, I'm gonna leave then, because you're you're under threat of arrest. That's correct. I'm yes. under threat of arrest. I'm going to leave. And no, you do not. Well, don't touch me. Don't touch. No, you don't. No, you don't. I have not committed a crime. No, I haven't. Listen, they man, don't you you're, you're touching me. They asked you to leave. They asked you to leave. And I'm leaving under threat of arrest. Okay. You're refusing to provide identification to us. We need because to I haven't committed a crime. Back here, because I don't want you coming back here. Sergeant, I haven't committed a cr Sergeant, I haven't committed a crime. Unless I've committed a crime, I don't have to show you ID, sir. Did they ask you to leave? Yes or no? You just told you just told me right now. I'm not. That's that's not. I, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Okay. They said that. They asked you to leave. This is a public. This is a public right. building. That is a crime. This is a public building. That's great, but they asked you to leave. My brain hurts. Okay, the library. They told him to leave. And he's not leaving. So they're saying you're trespassing because you've been told to leave, right? That's what I'm getting from this. He's saying, I don't have to give you my ID because I haven't committed a crime. So the surgeon comes in, surgeon, surgeon, and said, hey, are you gonna leave, yes or no? And he says, yeah, I will leave because if I don't, you're going to arrest me. So I'm gonna leave on threat of arrest. So I'm not really seeing the big issue here if in the end, like just leave. I feel like he's trying to prove a point. We've all been there at a moment where we could leave the conversation, but we gotta prove a point. Oh, I'm guilty of that one. I'll tell you that. No, I don't. But I you just don't mind? feel like this is uncomfortable because you guys can hit me for no reason. I'm kind of scared, bro. I've been through plenty so, of situations. So with the way you're acting now is getting me a little. Yeah. You scared me though, because I've been thinking. I've been like detained for no reason. So, I feel like we were having a normal so conversation. I would actually like to call my though. mother if you can. Please and thank you. Just yeah. Can you like, bring? Two six nine. Just. Just relax, alright? Mm. Dude, this is illegal, bro. You guys should not be able to be doing this to me right now. Uh, what you have on you is illegal. Stand up. I, I don't want it to go off or nothing, alright? Oh. Oh. Before I grab it, I don't want, I don't know if it's wrapped on anything, on the trigger or anything. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't want us to get hurt. good. Okay. Is it loaded? Yes. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Yeah, I was like, there's no way they're gonna show this, right? Because I definitely couldn't on YouTube, but I didn't think they could on TikTok either. All right, guys, that is more body cam footage. People are loving the body cam footage these days. So if you guys wanna see more, you gotta let me know. Let me know so I can give the people what they want. I'm getting out of here though. Stay classy out there, stay sassy, and be grateful.